Hi, I'm Liz Rice from Aqua Security, and in this video, I'm going to explore OCI image formats and how we can run an OCI image using Run C. So, first of all, I need to get hold of an image in OCI format, and I'm going to use a tool called Scopio to do that. I'm going to copy from Docker. I'll take the latest version of Alpine and I want to store that in OCI format and it's Alpine latest. And that creates for me an Alpine directory. And if I look inside that, it's actually kind of interesting to explore the files inside here. So first of all, there's OCI layout, not terribly interesting, just telling us about the version uh, of um, the spec that this image is compliant with. But if we go to index.json, I'm just going to have that format up nicely. So what we see here is a manifest for this image. And the interesting thing is this digest here that starts B010. Now, if I look in this blobs directory, this is some data that's been downloaded from uh, the image registry and uh, stored in these blobs. And one of them starts, the file name starts B010. It matches this digest from the manifest. Now if we look in here, and I'm just going to tell uh, code that it's JSON format so that I can formula, format it up nicely. And here, this tells us about uh, configuration and layers. So you might know that a container image comes in a set of file system layers. In this example, there's just one layer and it's got an identifier AAD6, or the starts AAD6, and that matches this uh, blob, which is a uh, an encoded version of the file system, so my editor's not going to display it. The other interesting thing in this uh, in this file here is the configuration, which starts 1C0C, and that's also a blob that we downloaded. And let me get that in JSON format. And so that's got information that's very similar to what you would see if you did a Docker inspect on the Docker format uh, image. So for example, we've got information about root file system. We've got information about the environment and uh, what uh, command to run when we run this container. There's also the history of how this container was built or container image rather was built. This root file system is interesting because it's got this ID here, B triple E, and that doesn't seem to correspond to anything that we have here. But interestingly, if we do Docker inspect on that image, uh, and I just look at um, the root file system field, And that is the ID of the file system layer uh, in the Docker image format. Okay, so this is the OCI distribution format of the image. So we've got these data blobs and uh, JSON files that, or a JSON file that describes how to interpret those blobs. RunC doesn't run the image in that format. RunC needs me to convert this into a runtime bundle. And I'm going to use a tool called Imochi to do that, which I need to run as root, at least for this demo. And I'm going to unpack, oops, unpack Alpine latest image uh, into an Alpine bundle. Bindle? No, we'll call it bundle. Okay, and uh, I just need to uh, change the permissions on that directory so that my editor can view it. 
out, which I need to do as a root, obviously. Oops. There we go. So now, hopefully, yes, my editor can view inside Alpine Bundle. And again, there's some interesting things in this directory. So if you know about container images, you'll know that they basically have two parts. They have a root file system and they have configuration that shows how the image should be run, like how to run a container from this image. And that's basically what we have here. We have a root file system, which actually looks exactly like what you would expect to see in the root file system of an Alpine container or an Alpine distribution. And we have this config.json, and this tells run C how to run this container. So for example, it says what user ID to run as. It has things like the environment, um, the Linux capabilities that are gonna be granted for this container. Uh, and then if we come all the way down to the end or near the end, we find namespaces. You might know that containers are made from Linux constructs called namespaces, C groups, and uh, the changing of the root file system. So this namespaces uh, information tells Run C which different namespaces to create. All right. So I think it's time that we actually run this container. So I'm going to go into that bundle directory. And then as root, I can do run C, run. It's going to run the uh, bundle that in, that's in the current directory. And I'm going to run shell. And here I am in my Alpine container. So that's just a very quick introduction to uh, using Run C and the OCI image formats that Run C is uh, expecting to see. Hope you found that interesting. Uh, and if you did and you want to see more videos from us, do subscribe to the Aqua Security Open Source YouTube channel. Thanks and see you again soon. <laughs>